Alrighty, so basically when you're sitting in your driver's seat, obviously you have a few more buttons over here which are for your comfort and convenience. Obviously pretty self-explanatory for you. You get your lock and unlock buttons over here. Um, these four buttons here are what they call for the memory seats. Um, basically the set button is when you're trying to set your memory seat for you. The one is for driver one and the two is for driver two. The bottom one here is actually for if you're getting in and out of the vehicle, it'll scoot all of the, everything down and back for you, making it an easier in and out. Um, to set the seat, all you have to do is find where you're most comfortable between your mirrors and your seat here, as well as your steering wheel, which is all power as well. And that goes in and out, up and down, using a little button on the left-hand side over here for you. So once you get all yourself to the comfortable position where you feel like you would be able to drive and be able to see all your surroundings, you want to press the set button and then press and hold for a second there on whichever one or two you may would like. And then obviously as you can see, once you move yourself down and kind of back, you can just tap the one and that's going to move me back to where I was before. Um, working down here, the L and the R are for whichever mirror you may be trying to adjust. So select the L and then obviously using this little top button up here. You may move the mirror left or right, up or down. Same thing for the mirror on the right hand side. And when you're not actually moving one of the mirrors, you, it's kind of like a toggle switch. You can leave it right in the middle so that you may not accidentally move and adjust one of the mirrors on accident while you're driving. Obviously, your windows, they are fully automatic as you go down and back up. You can click it. Obviously, you got all four of them there. And then the bottom one here is for your child and window locks just in case so you don't have anyone trying to jump out the back window while you're going down the road. Um, very nice easy system for you. Um, one thing to remember, I guess, if you I don't know if you can see it or not very well, but you have a parking brake over here. There's no longer your old, um, you know, foot pedal anymore. So what you do to set your parking brake is you flip the lever down, and it, you'll notice that it puts your park brake on there, and it'll also tell you that it's set. And then to release it, you have to put your foot on the brake and press the button upward. And that'll take a second and it'll release it for you and it'll let you know when the park brake is released. Another really cool thing with the CTS V-Sport that you get is the heads up display. And that is all controlled through these three buttons right here on the left hand side. Basically the first one will raise you and lower your heads up display which is all controlled out of this little, there's a little screen right up here which shows your speedometer, your direction, radio station, whatever you may like to see right in front of you on your windshield so that you really don't ever take your eyes off the road. So you can move it up or down as you may so choose to obviously based on your height. The next one for you is going to be what info you're seeing on there. So as I mentioned you can see your RPMs, your the speed limit that it might be, the uh, radio station you're on or just the compass. The, and then the final button over here is going to be just your uh, the darkness or light